On these slabs around, around Kitty Bitty Lake, we have rocks that are 570 million years old. These rocks are unusual because there are only about a dozen places in the world where you can see fossils in rocks of this age. So one of the th techniques that we use when we're in the field, particularly late in the season, is plasticine, just the same as you probably have in your, your kid's bedroom. You can impress it onto an area with a fossil, just pu push it down with your hand, and when you lift it up, you get an impression of the fossil that you can then manipulate in the light. These things can be really difficult to see because they're only delicately impressed on the surface. There's no shell or anything like that. But if you actually illuminate them from a low angle, you can actually see how the, the fossils pop out. The organisms that were living on the seafloor were basically stuck there on the seafloor. They had a stem that went up into the water column and a frond which was collecting something. We don't know if it was oxygen or early bits of food, but these things didn't have guts or anything. So whatever they were doing, they were just absorbing straight from their environment. So we pour water onto the rock to increase the contrast because the different minerals show up differently in the, in the wet. So you can see these darker rings inside the fossils in here. This might be called um, Charnia discus or um, Cyclomedusa. And this one here, which is smooth on the inside, might be called Ediacaria. We only found these fossils really recently, like two weeks ago. And there's not much time now until the snow comes, and we'd like to enlist the help of St John's to actually find some more of these fossils for us before the end of the season. Because this actually coincides with Research Week at Memorial University, what we thought we would do is we set up a fun competition where if you can find fossils on slabs like these and identify yourself, maybe just even your hand or a selfie with your face, post it to the uh, Geocentro Facebook page. And if it's a genuine fossil, then we'll enter you into a drawer. If it's not, we'll explain perhaps what you've actually seen.